we're looking at the Fountain of Diana, which was built as a representation of Diane de Poitiers, mistress of the Chateau of Annay and lover of Henry II. It harkens back compositionally to Cellini's nymph of Fontainebleau. The goddess Diana reclines, with one arm draped about the neck of a stag, accompanied by her hunting dogs Frocyon and Sirius. Her figure is not only being used as a representation of physical perfection, but a portrayal of the idealized feminine virtue and purity. She is depicted in the mannerist style of the school of Fontainebleau, which is to say that her overly willowy figure is not a natural depiction of the female body, but one distorted and lengthened to create an ideal. The proportions and smooth lines of her body, as well as her intricate hairstyle, serve to allude to both the goddess's sensuality and chastity. The fur of the stag, greyhound, and water spaniel is also extremely accurately and vividly rendered, suggesting the power and savagery of the animals portrayed. It serves to remind the viewer that, although these beasts accompany the goddess, each animal is primarily wild. The graceful swoop of the bow in this piece serves to balance the sculpture, which otherwise would have too many elements on its left-hand side.